Thank you very much uh, for your welcome. Um, I'm very grateful as one of these ghastly civil servants from the Department of Health that I have been invited to come along today uh, to uh, just share with you very briefly uh, about the, these products that have been produced. Uh, but I would also just make some introductory comments to say how much we appreciate the work that Charlotte and her team of other uh, professional nursing professionals make uh, to really advancing the issues associated with nursing uh, as we face the challenges of transforming uh, the delivery of uh, care in, in, Nor in Northern Ireland. And so I'm very grateful for this opportunity uh, this morning. And just I hope you will indulge me for, uh, as a non-registrant as I make a few comments for a few minutes. Um, Firstly, I'd like to uh, formally uh, launch and endorse on behalf of the department, uh, the uh, department, the standards for nursing assistance employed in the HSE trusts in Northern Ireland. Also, the other associated resources, which include the induction and development pathway and standard job descriptions and post outlines for what, as Charlotte has already explained, will clearly be identified in future as band two nursing assistants and band three senior nursing assistants. I will say a little more about each document shortly, but I understand that copies of the, these documents should be available uh, and uh, on your tables uh, this morning. Firstly, I think it's important to explain briefly why the work to develop these resources has been considered necessarily. Primarily, as Charlotte has acknowledged, there are about 4,000 nursing assistants who contribute a vital part of the delivery of care across our work, HSE workforce and are a key part of the, of the nursing team. They work in a delegated framework from registrants exhibiting the professional behaviours uh, outlined uh, uh, this morning by, by Charlotte. So as such, the nursing uh, assistants provide a vital role supporting the registered nursing workforce in delivering the safe, compassionate, high quality nursing care which we know our registered workforce provides. Um, oh, if you while the team from NIPEC, trust colleagues, and across the department has been engaged in this exercise in developing these products for some time, and Charlotte has already referred to a number of the colleagues who have been most directly involved in that process, I think it's entirely fitting that their hard work comes together at this time. But just as the department is finalising the emerging HSC workforce strategy, this will be an early product set out in Health and Wellbeing 2026, Delivering Together, which is our ministers, uh, I mean our local ministers' response to the recommendations of the expert panel to transform the delivery of health and social care in Northern Ireland. A key theme of that workforce strategy is the importance of valuing and recognising the contribution of all our staff across all of HSC in delivering care. And that's a real message that's come across, should it be from doctors in training, should it be from domiciliary care workers, everyone wants to have their contribution and recognised and valued, and rightly so. And we are taking it upon ourselves as responsibility as we seek to work together to transform services to recognise and, and enable that contribution to be realised. The resources uh, which have been developed and are launched today therefore provide a timely and appropriate focus on the important contribution made by nursing assistants. They also illustrate that employers are committed to investing time and energy in enhancing the valuable contribution made by this group. And now very briefly outline the purpose of each of the resources that have been developed. Firstly, the standards for nursing assistance employed by HSE trusts. These are important to protect and enhance patient safety and to set out the standards of care, conduct and behaviours required of nursing assistants. A key aim of the standards is to ensure that everyone using our services receives the same standard of safe, 
high quality care and support from our nursing assistants right across the HSC. By following the standards, nursing assistants will know that they are working to the highest standards required and set by the department. Similarly, the standards provide assurance to those that use our services, to employers and to colleagues, and help everyone understand the standards that are expected of nursing assistants. The standards align with and entirely complement the overarching code of conduct for all of HSC employees, which the department uh, issued in September 2016. And I think this in itself is an important connection to draw attention to, as it highlights that nursing assistants are indeed an integral part of the overall HSC team delivering care. The aim of the induction and development pathway is to promote the consistent development and support of nursing assistants across HSC. These are important in order to help maximise their skills and their competences. The pathway outlines four key steps, and I think they're set out very clearly in the documentation you have there, which will support nursing assistants to learn and develop while in post, and will help to facilitate career progressions should individuals wish to do so. But otherwise, it will help all, regardless of their situation, to maximise their potential. The standards and the pathway documents are supplemented by regionally agreed job descriptions and knowledge and skills framework post outlines for the band two nursing assistant and the band three senior nursing assistant uh, roles. The job descriptions set out the core elements for the roles, leaving scope for local flexibility to tailor the job description to local specific needs. The KSF post outline define and describe the knowledge and skills that staff need to apply uh, in their work in order to deliver a quality service. Both foundation and full post outlines have been agreed. And as Charlotte has mentioned, the department will shortly be establishing one of our much loved task and finishes, uh, finish implementation groups uh, to uh, oversee the rollout of these resources across the HSC. And we will shortly be writing out to the health and social care trusts, inviting volunteers uh, to the group. So please don't knock me down or Kieran afterwards in wanting to sign up to join in that project. But I hope you will agree it's a valuable and important uh, task to, to, to take forward. In conclusion, ladies and gentlemen, I very much uh, hope that all can recognise that the standards, the induction and development and job description documents are not examples of yet more bureaucracy being imposed from on high by the department. Rather, on the contrary, they are tools which individuals and management across trusts and you as leaders within your uh, uh, trusts can employ together to further improve the contribution that this important group of our staff, nursing assistants, can make to delivering care. Thank you very much.